Yes, our guest today has dominated her sport over the past few years, but she had one of her best performances during the Olympics in Sochi. Kaylee Humphreys, along with brakeman Heather Moyes, defended her gold medal in women's bobsleigh, and their race was so inspiring, the duo was given the honor of carrying our flag into the closing ceremonies. Since arriving home, Kaylee's been very busy, so we're lucky she's here with us this morning on BT. It is so nice to see you. you. It's, it's, um, how are you? It's great. <laughs> I'm good. Um, just... Yeah, it's been a whirlwind. Super busy. Spent the first day as soon as I got home. I mean, travel was a long process to get home, but spent the first day with my family just kind of catching up, which was great, and then it's just kind of been a media whirlwind the last couple of days. Okay, well, let's go back to the games. Uh, how it all played out was really interesting. You guys were not in the lead after the first uh, two runs, but... I get the sense from you that there was nothing that was going to get in between you and that gold medal. Am I, am I right? I mean, you work and you dedicate your life to this. I mean, the last four years has been sacrifice after sacrifice for not only me, but my family and partnerships and everything. So there was, you're 100% right, there was nothing that was going to get in the way. But, I mean, an Olympic Games is different for us than a regular World Cup. Mm -hmm. We have two days of competition, four runs, combined time. And so that plan and process needs to be different. And we only have one of those per year to really practice at. And so I knew after first day, I was still in the running. Yeah. We weren't that far behind. We weren't ahead. It was going to take some work, but it was also going to take some consistency. So for me, it was just kind of keep calm, be consistent, and just hope other people make mistakes. I, and which essentially did happen, but you guys had an incredible <laughs> run. How yes. do you keep the positive self-talk? How do you keep from de descending? Yeah, I mean, it's not the easiest. Um, at the end of the day, we really just try and control what we can control. I can't control how the other people do, how they compete, how they drive, how they push. All we can control is us. So Heather and I, we had a plan. It was really just to go in, push as hard as we could, do the very best we could um, at the start, maximize that, because the Americans are extremely strong at the start. Mm -hmm. And I just had to keep driving consistently. Uh, this is my eighth year now as a pilot, so it's coming. The consistency is good, and I knew that's what I had over all the other rest of the athletes in the field so for me it was just yeah focus on consistency and driving and hope that it all came together and after the third run we were getting closer and closer and I knew that's what it was going to take and then you know just kind of pile the pressure on her and and see what happens and it's hard as an athlete to give up that control and to know that you can't do anything right. and you just have to wait and watch and and hope that they make a mistake um, but at the end of the day I we were super happy regardless of what happened at the end of that fourth run when you see us get out it just we were happy with how we performed. We had done the very best that we could, and the rest was going to be, you know, up to fate. Okay, so USA ones. Uh, how, what can you see of their fourth run? Are there screens around where you can actually see what's going on? You could tell that it was not their best. No. Yeah, at the end of that fourth run, you get out, and they have, like, this winner's box. So it's got the sponsorship stuff behind it and all that kind of stuff, and then you get a TV right in front of you with the cameras just facing you. And so you get to watch the run, um, and it's... Yeah, it, it wasn't the best run. I can't say that I was super disappointed <laughs> the fact that it wasn't oh. good for her. We, um, I mean, Alana and I are really good friends, and I'm heading to her wedding in April, and it's one of those people don't quite understand our relationship and our, our battle royale, but I trained with her all summer. Yeah. Um, we lived together for a bit in Phoenix just training, and we've become really, really great friends, and we can be competitors because of the type of people we are, and it's, it's something different. Um, that I've never had within sport, but it's really awesome. So it was hard to watch her mm. kind of fold under pressure a little bit, but at the same time, I mean, it was a benefit to us. And that's just inexperience on, on her end, right. and she couldn't help that. I made those mistakes four years ago, um, and it's, it's happened to me in races, and she's just kind of got to learn to get through that where I had the, the experience to get through it. And you walked away with one of these. Let's uh, I I'll get you to show our camera this beautiful... Yes gold medal. <laughs> and then this, of course, you share with Brakeman Heather Moyes. She overcame so much. Uh, here, let's, oh, there you go. One. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah. Uh, she overcame so much to, to get back and, and ready. Uh, talk about her, because you guys at, at one time uh, were competitors, and now you are closer than you could imagine, right? I mean, we talk are. about how strong she is. Yeah, I mean, she, the last couple years, has definitely had to overcome some major obstacles, and she left the sport after 2010, ready to be done and, and move on with life. And um, she had gone to track, or track and football. She had gone to cycling and had done some rugby and all things that were just going to help alleviate some of her injuries and mm -hmm. help her rehab and recover but still stay active in sport. And I don't think initially she had any plans of returning, 
but it was one of those last year I'd given her a call and I was like what do you think and she again had to overcome surgery after surgery and she came back for her and it was one of those it was really great to see because that's what it was going to take mm -hmm. um, she was going to have to come back and she was going to have to want it harder than ever especially to overcome all the surgeries yeah. and and she did and she was faster and stronger than she ever was before and to have an athlete like that join your program and especially to be able to call her such a close friend yeah. it's it's really inspiring to see and I mean we really wanted to compete the best for each other well it was for me my personal 